Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an MSI GF63 thin gaming laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up to access your internal battery if you need to replace it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now this computer has quite a few screws. I've marked them all off here. So you're going to grab these four on the bottom, these three on this edge, these three on this edge, this one in the middle, and this one near the top left middle. So you're going to grab all of those screws, take them all out. And then after all those screws are removed, you're going to use a small flat plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones. So get yourself a plastic pry tool and you're gonna go across the entire edge of this bottom case and gently but firmly pry it off from your computer. Now as a side note guys, if you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer repairs, there'll be a link above. I'll also have it below in the description where you can find all the tools and supplies you need as well as any replacement parts and upgrade parts for this MSI GF63 thin computer. One more thing to shout out when taking off this bottom case, you'll notice on your computers, guys, right up here, there is an HDMI port right on the back side. That's going to make it a little hard to pry this up. So make sure that when you're prying up the bottom case, you're getting it around that HDMI port. It's kind of a pain for this model. After you've removed the bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. And your battery is right down here on the bottom. It plugs in right here to the motherboard. Now, unfortunately, huh, in addition to the HDMI port, I have more bad news. This battery is not actually screwed down. It's glued down. So you have two options here. You can just grab it and slowly go around the battery, peeling it off little by little. Try not to bend the battery, obviously, because you can damage it. Um, or you can use a heat gun. Now, using a heat gun on a battery can be tricky because heat and batteries don't mix. Um, it, it's an explosion risk when you heat up a charged battery. So you may want to make sure that your battery is completely discharged before using a heat gun on it. Keep the heat gun several inches above and don't stay in one area. Just go lightly all the way around. It, all you have to do is get it a little warm, get that glue a little gooey, and then you can use like um, credit cards, old credit cards or something like that to slide underneath little by little taking it up or you can just take it up by force just be careful not to damage your battery the plug is right here and usually with this kind of plug you'll see right there in the middle of your plug there's a little groove that you're supposed to be able to put a pry tool in and slide that out of the port straight down however it doesn't work that well because this is so close to the battery with the wires there's not a lot of room to push that down so in my experience with this model, you may have to remove the battery in order to unplug it. So a little bit of the pain in the butt, guys, I'm sorry, between the HDMI port and the battery being glued, this is kind of a pain model. I hope this video helped you out, let you know how to get in, um, shouted out those two things to watch out for. If you need any of the battery specs or information, it'll be below in, in the description in the FAQs. And again, if you're looking for any sort of replacement parts or tools, they'll be below in, in that link as well. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, I, I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.